Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be a get ready with me. Now I'll be honest, I don't have anywhere to go tonight. I have no plans, but if I did, this is what I would be doing. So I'm just gonna be kind of doing everything that I would be if I was going out and getting ready just for fun, just to show you guys. So I'm gonna do my makeup with you guys. My hair, as you can see, needs a little refresh. It's a little frizzy, and we're also going to be talking about some perfume today, but before we get into all of that, don't forget to subscribe down below if you have not already, and give the video a thumbs up if you end up enjoying it. You can also come join me over on Instagram and Twitter if you want to be a little bit more part of this community. I think I'm going to do my makeup first and then my hair refresh, but before we get into that, I want to talk about some perfume. I have two perfumes here. They are both from the brand Dossier. And this portion of the video is in partnership with Dossier. If you've never heard of them, they are a brand that does inspiration fragrances. So expensive designer and niche fragrances. They will do like dupes of those fragrances. They all have their own unique names. I have Aquatic Peony and Vermont Orange Blossom. This is what the bottles look like. I'm going out of focus. Can we get that back, please? Okay, I think we're good. One of the things that I love about this brand is that they have all of their notes listed on the actual packaging and it's really cute, simple, chic packaging, but they do have like in small letters at the top here, the notes of the fragrance. So Aquatic Peony is an inspiration fragrance of Aqua de Joya by Giorgio Armani. This has notes, top notes of mint, black currant, lemon, aquatic accord, and middle notes of peony, jasmine, pink pepper, and then base notes of cedarwood and labdanum. And this one is just like a really fresh, clean, but still a little bit floral. It has like the black currant, which I love, makes it a little bit sweet. And then it has that peony, which is one of my favorite notes in perfume. I love peonies and I love the scent of them. So I'm gonna do a spray of this. Why not put perfume on first thing so you can enjoy it and smell it while you're getting ready because I love wearing perfume, even when I'm just at home and doing nothing and then they also sent me another one but i do want to say first the really cool thing about this is how much more affordable these are than the actual original fragrances that they are inspired by most of these fragrances are 29 dollars. they range from between 29 and 39 both of the ones i have here are 29 they're so much more affordable and i love perfume but it really adds up to go out there and buy like designer and niche fragrances because they're so pricey and it smells literally like identical to the original like i don't own this one or the other one that i'm going to talk about i don't own the originals but i have smelled them in store several times and these smell so similar it's just crazy and i do want to mention they did give me a 10 percent off discount code for you guys and i will have it on the screen and in the description box down below and i also have a link down there for you guys to go check them out if you are interested. Plus they're also doing Black Friday sales all of November going from like 20 to 50% off, which is amazing because these are already so affordable. They're also bringing out brand new scents for Black Friday. So that's super exciting. I can't wait to see what they come out with. But the other fragrance that they sent me is Gourmand Orange Blossom. And this one is a dupe or inspiration of Lancome La Vie is Belle. The top notes on this one are Orange Blossom, Black Currant, Hazelnut. The middle notes are Oris, Jasmine Sambach, Patchouli. And the base notes are Praline, Vanilla, and Tonka Bean. So this one is definitely my favorite because it has that like sweet, rich kind of gourmand scent like it says why don't we just go ahead and spray this one on the other arm we can do a little mixing oh i love this one it's so sweet and warm i can definitely smell like that praline and the orange blossom and they come in these little boxes and then they have this little card with like the um perfume that it's inspired by and all the notes and everything like that it's super cute so it comes like this in the box and then you also have this little sample that it comes with so if you purchase one of these perfumes you can try the little sample out first and if you don't like it you can send back the full bottle and like exchange it for a different one so i really like that about it but they both smell so good so like i said i will have the link and discount code down below just in case you guys are interested if you love perfume just as much as i do thank you so much to dossier for collaborating with me on this portion of the video and i'm going to go ahead and get into my makeup and hair all right guys so i filmed putting on my base makeup and either i forgot to press record or my camera just decided to turn off in the middle of filming and I'm not sure which it was, but either way, I am here with my base makeup on and I genuinely considered going to wash my face and start this all over. 
but then I figured, you know what, this is real life and this is, you know, part of it. So I'm just going to tell you guys the products I used and then we're going to go ahead and do the rest of the makeup because this isn't the fun part anyways. For my base, I used the Province Beauty Vitamin C and Probiotic Serum. This is what it looks like. And then I mixed it with the Earth to Skin Tea Time Black Tea Night Cream. And I mentioned that I tried this out back when I purchased it a few times and I was breaking out and I wasn't sure what it was so I stopped using this but I haven't used it since. And I do wanna give it a fair shot because I don't know that this is what broke me out. And I figured why not use it under makeup, that's the perfect time. So I mixed it with that. And then I went in with my ColourPop No Filter Stick Foundation and my ColourPop No Filter Concealer, and I just used a sponge to blend that out. And then I went over top with the It Cosmetics Bye Bye Pores Press Powder just to set underneath my eyes and my forehead lines. So that is what I did for my base makeup, and we're gonna go ahead and move on to bronzer, blush, highlight, brows, and eye makeup, and lips. And that's kind of the more interesting part for you guys to watch anyways, so we're just gonna move on from that little hiccup. I'm gonna add some lip balm because my lips are a little dry. Forgot to bring my brushes over here. Okay, for bronzer, I'm gonna go in with my Undone Beauty Water Bronzer. This is in the shade Baked. I haven't used this in a while, so I thought I'd bring it out today. I'm gonna try to go in with this brush and just go over the top, but I might have to apply it directly to my skin because this is a very light, thin product. Yeah, I think that's gonna work. Do a little bit on the sides of the nose with that. For blush, I'm gonna grab the Makeup Geek Spellbound Blush. This is a really pretty cool toned kind of pink or neutral. It's like a great bridal shade actually. I think I wore this on my wedding day. So you guys, I didn't plan on this being a chatty get ready with me, but I would love to hear your thoughts on what you guys wanna see from me now that I moved. I do wanna do some home and lifestyle content, but I don't wanna do too much of it. Like my Christmas decorate with me video isn't doing the best right now. And I don't wanna keep doing content like that if you guys don't wanna see it. But I know that some of you guys are here for that, even though a lot of you are also here for hair content and beauty and stuff. So you can leave me any suggestions down in the comments of video ideas that you would like to see on my channel. A little bit of that on the nose because that just adds something. Blush is the first thing that fades, so you don't have to be scared to do too much. I'm telling you guys. All right, so let's go into some highlight. Um, I'm gonna use this Morphe highlight, this high impact highlighter in Spark. This is a really pretty neutral shade. It's a little intense, so we're not gonna use too much. I'm just gonna go in with my brush and kind of like dab it onto my cheeks. Take a little excess on the tip of the nose. And then I am gonna grab this ColourPop highlighter. This is their Flexitarian Super Shock Highlight. This one is really intense, but I do wanna take a little bit just on my finger and just apply it like right to the tops of my cheekbones. Let's do a little bit of eye makeup. So I'm gonna grab this Raw Sienna shade from the Modern Renaissance palette. Um, it's this one all the way on the end here, this transition shade. Just a little bit of that into the crease. So I'm actually filming this the day before Thanksgiving. So tomorrow is Thanksgiving. We're having Thanksgiving here uh, with Joas's family, which I'm super excited about to host a holiday here. It's just gonna be really fun. Let me know down in the comments what you guys did for Thanksgiving because this video will likely go up on Friday or Saturday. So Thanksgiving will be over here in the US, but let me know what you guys did for Thanksgiving. I would love to hear. Even if you just stayed home and had a little dinner with your immediate family, let me know in the comments. So I'm gonna use two shades for my lid. They're both ColourPop Super Shock shadows. I feel like I'm using a lot of ColourPop in this video, but that's okay. The first one is Light Up. I think this was the limited edition collection with Kathleen Lights that they did. So I don't think you can get this anymore, which is really sad, but it's such a beautiful pinky kind of shade. And I'm just gonna go in with my finger and just tap this on the lid. My nails are finally done for the first time in a while and I just literally did stick on Kiss Nails, the um, original like French manicure ones. And I actually really like them. I like having a French manicure. It has been years since I did this. I probably haven't had a French manicure since my wedding day. So it's been a long time and I really like it. I feel like it looks classy and I kind of like having shorter nails too. And then I'm gonna go over top of that with the shade Ritz. This is such a beautiful, cool toned kind of taupey shade. I love this one. Definitely pick this one up if you don't have it and you like sheer shimmery eyeshadows. My 
grab a little bit of that raw sienna and just put it like on my lower lash line. I'm gonna use good old Makeup Geek Shimma Shimma for my inner uh, corner. I don't always do an inner corner highlight, but I figured why not? Okay, let's do some brows. I'm just gonna use my Anastasia pencil. This is the soft brown shade. We're just gonna do a little bit. I don't like over defined brows these days. I'll grab my Essence Make Me Brow. This is like a tinted brow gel. Oh, whoops, there we go. And I do like to brush them up just a little bit. Hmm. I love smelling that perfume while I'm getting ready. It's just so calming. I think we're just gonna do some mascara now. I'm gonna curl my lashes with my Tweezerman eyelash curler. I think I got a lash in my eye. Hydrate a little bit first. And then I'm gonna use my Essence Lash Princess Mascara. I'm just gonna do my top lashes. I do this a lot just because I like that open, bright-eyed look, but it really just depends on my mood. I'm gonna line my lips with the Milani Lip Liner in All Natural. I've been using this lip liner for years, literally years. It's like my favorite one. Just a little bit around the edges. Um, then I'm just gonna grab this like tinted balm. This is the Sephora Color Enhancing Lip Oil in berry but it's just kind of like a tinted balm and i love the way this feels i think this is pretty affordable too so i'll make sure to link all of these products down below oh, i just love that i love that lip shake up my setting spray i'm using the l'oreal shake and glow dew mist i love this setting spray it's so it's such a fine mist And there you have it, folks. That's the finished makeup look. We're gonna move on to doing a little hair refresh now. As you can see, my hair is just kind of frizzy and a little limp. Um, it needs a good tone, so I do need to use my purple shampoo soon, but we'll worry about that another time. So to refresh, I'm gonna use just a spray bottle of water. I don't have like that fancy um, slow spray mister. I really wanna get one of those because I feel like that would like just dampen the hair really nicely. Um, so I'm just gonna use a little spray bottle of water and just dampen my hair a little bit. Just kind of gonna squish my hair together a little bit to get all of it damp. That already helps with frizz. <laughs> But of course, if you left it like this with no product, the frizz might come back. It's kind of funny though, because I definitely remember doing this when I was a kid. My hair would be so frizzy. I would just like spray water on it, like smooth it down. And then it would of course come back because I had no product in my hair. I just wanted to see that frizz go away for a little bit. <laughs> okay, so I think I'm gonna try out this We Dad Curl Shaper um, Reactivating Mist. They sent me their whole curl shaper line and I've been testing them out, but I haven't tried out this reactivating mist. So I'm gonna try this out today and see what I think. Lid comes off a little hard. We're just gonna spray this all over. I really like that mister. And then now that we've got that in, I'm gonna do a little bit of light scrunching. I'm gonna be really careful because I don't wanna like make my hair more frizzy, you know? But I just wanna squeeze all that product into my hair. And then I'm gonna use this Curl Shaper 3-in-1 Re Revitalizing Milk. This one I have used and I do like it so far. I've been mixing it with their like thick curl cream. Anyways, I'm just gonna use two pumps of this. It's not a lot. Oops, there goes all my stuff. I'm just going to kind of smooth this over the hair. When you wet your hair, it does actually reactivate your product if you have product in your hair. So you don't need a lot of product to actually just refresh your hair. And then I am gonna use one more product. Um, you don't need to use all of these, but I am gonna use my AirSense I Create Waves. I really like this product. This smells so good. Do a little bit more scrunching. You can already see my wave definition coming back. 
but I'm gonna go wash my hands and let this dry for just a little bit and then I'm gonna come back and I'm gonna do a little bit of argan oil and then we should be good to go. Okay guys, so my hair is dry now and I'm back. It's still a little frizzy, but I'm gonna use my oil. This is like one of the most important steps when I style my hair, whether it's um, on the wash day or I'm refreshing. So I'm just using this Shea Moisture 100% Pure Argan Oil and I'm just gonna do like two pumps, maybe two and a half. Rub it on my hands, warm it up, and then just kind of like smooth it over my hair before I scrunch it in. And then I'm just gonna scrunch and fluff a little bit. Make sure that there's no like cast and that all the oil is like distributed through my hair. So there we are. There is my little hair refresh. I like to do this side part and then like tuck my hair behind my ear on the side. I don't know, something about that is like one of my favorite looks. So that's my little refresh. Um, I'd say we have pretty good volume today. So as long as I have definition and volume, I don't mind a little frizz because it is kind of inevitable, but it doesn't look too bad. So that is going to be it for today's video for my little get ready with me. I really hope that you guys enjoyed it. If you have not subscribed, like I said before, you can go ahead and do so down below. And if you want to stay updated whenever I upload new content, you can click that little notification bell down below next to the subscribe button. Don't forget to to follow me over on Instagram and Twitter. Thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you in my next video. Bye.